Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? In this video we'll be creating this ring here. I love the way it came out. And as always, I chitter chatter, so if that's not your kind of video, exit please. And let me just share with you the supplies that I used. And this is just for inspiration and sharing with you guys what I create and hopefully you guys are inspired by it. Isn't that beautiful? So we use a mandrel and then these homemade filled socks to hold my mandrel. I use two flat nose pliers and I use some cutters, a file, some 20 gauge copper wire, and some beads and some thinner wire don't, I'm not sure what size this wire is, but it's pretty thin. What else? That's it. And some open-minded and inspiration in your mind to create this video. I mean, to create the ring, guys? Silly me. Let me put it on the mandrel. Isn't that beautiful? So this is what you'll see me making. Okay, I'll catch you in the next video. Hi everybody. I'm not sure if I'm liking this white. I'm seeing so many shadows. Kind of like what I used to have under, or what I still have underneath. But since I have everything already out, I'm just going to work this way. So today we're going to make Barbara. We're going to make some rings. And these are my um, weights that I have to hold my mandrel. That's the way I like to work. It's, and we're going to make some rings, like I mentioned. Um, we're going to be using some copper wire. Oh, what is the gauge? I really wish I had one of those little round gauge uh, sizing things, but I'm kind of thinking that we're working with something between a 20 and an 18 gauge. Not too sure though. Uh, there's, I don't have nothing here that tells me what it is. So we're going to go with two different ways. I'm not sure if both ways will be on this same video or if I'm going to do a two part video. So, it's quite simple. I've made many of these rings. I used to sell them. Um, this style of ring. Uh, I just used to sell them. Okay. Probably should have had or should have had next to me I don't even know. A measuring tape. But I don't. Not right now. So let's play. Let's play. And so you need some wire. Some beads of your choice. These beads here that I'm working with came from Happy Mail from Tina. And I have them over here on my seashell. And I have three that I'm going to work with one at a time. And then I have another idea over there. But but if we get to it that that's great. If not, then we'll do another video. And the reason I said I say we is because I do feel like it's not just me. I feel like it's all of us. You too. You with me. Okay, so uh, I usually do a size 7, um, between a 6, a 6 and a half. That's where we're going to work today. We don't need much wire. So here are two ways. This way, and I'll show you how to do that one right now. Okay. So I just got my wire and I go to underneath my mandrel. I try to work off of my spool. It's quite simple. Right? Can you guys see that? Let me get you a tad bit closer. I might have to move. Yes, let me move a little. Okay. And then we cross over 
and around, right? Then you go and you look at what bead you want to work with. And since I have these beads here, and they're not the biggest ones, and I know that the holes are on the side and I'm using a flat bottom. Uh, for this one, that's not going to work. Give me one second. Yeah, this one will be fine. Okay. Then I'm going to cut. I'm just going to hold it there and cut. And for this one, I basically come underneath my mandrel and I pinch the wires from side to side. I push down. And then what I do is... Where's my tool? There it is. The top wire I bend towards me. Just like that. See that? The bottom wire I bend away from me. And I basically am creating a space in between. And I'm going to pull it off. And I'm going to hold the middle just like this. And this, any side, can it's going to go underneath and around. See that? around. Then you would snip that off right there if you have any spare, any extra. And then make sure you sand that down so that it doesn't um, pick and poke at you. Feel it with the, your finger. So it's nice and rounded. Okay, that's good for right now. Do the same thing. Now, you just cut it the same as the first one, and again, you would sand it down, okay? And for this ring, yeah, I could feel that. I'm going to put it back here. Okay, it's a little bigger than I want. So what I can do is squeeze it together. If you wanted to hammer it, you can hammer it, but if I hammer it right now, it's going to become even bigger. Maybe once I put the bead on there, I might want it, want it bigger to put it on my thumb, but I don't know yet. 
and for this ring all you need is some some wire. I'm, I'm fine using this wire here and we're just going to wire on my beads and I'm going to get extra. I want these rings very simple so that I can stack them on my fingers if I like. That's cute. That one will look cute that way. I think we'll do that one. Let's just do that one. So, for this bead that I have here, it's rounded on the top and it's flat on the bottom so I'm choosing to do to use that facing down and from this point on you just freeform yourself away however you want to do it me I'm going to go around and in can you guys see that we need to get a little closer let me move this down. Oh, I just hit another camera. Okay. So I'm holding the bead in my hand, right? Then I'm going to go in to that little cavity we made. Right? And for this one, I'm going to go this way doesn't matter which way you go actually I just want to go that way and then the other wire it's funny because when I'm not on camera I whip these out okay I'm just gonna tug at it it'll fall in place And I want to do, what I'm doing here is the, I think I'm going to flip this way. They're very organic as I work. I love all of the wire that's going to come through. And then I'm going to try to go back into that hole one more time. I'm not sure if the hole is going to allow me to, but if it does, that's cool. Yeah, it did. Awesome. So now we have both wires to one end. You don't have to do that. I'm just sharing you to with you guys me creating. All right. So at this point, I can take it off. to tug to make sure it's going to stay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go around and under. I need to look up to see if I'm on camera. Give me one second. If I'm not on camera, I apologize. I try to get on it right now. Right there. I'm wondering if the hole will allow me to go back in one more time. No. Okay. So we're we're good. We're pretty tight down there. Oh, that did not sound right. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> now I'm gonna think about it and laugh. 
just work your way down and around. <laughs> now everything's going to sound dirty. I need to take this little kink out. Check my wires and see where I want to go with this. I think I want to go around like this. Not too many times, so I want to go back under like this. So you just weave until you feel that your design is done, until you feel that your ring is nice and steady. Let's go this way. You just check out your ring to see what it needs. What do you need, ring? Alright, that's pretty cool looking. Alright, now I'm going to start weaving over here. I hope I'm on camera, guys. I'm going to pull that over. And when I say that is this wire over here, the one we just weaved, I'm going to squeeze it this way. There we go. Oh. This would look really cute if I were to go around it, over it like this. Yeah, I like that. Well, I'll do that towards the end. Or why not? Let's do that now. Why not? I'm going to crisscross. I like that look. All right, that's cool. Then the opposite. This one I can crisscross it this way. Maybe not yet. Let me look. Not yet. I'm not going to crisscross that one yet until this one ends up over here. So let me let me take this one over. Or I can crisscross this one. Let me see. Yeah, I like that look. Yep, we're going to go for it. Yes, 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 I like that look. Which one was I pulling? This one here. No? What's which one? Which one? Which one? This one here? No. This one? No. There we go. This one. I like that look a lot. It's just for look. It's for nothing other than look. Okay. Now that they're nice and pulled, now I'm just going to do the around for look, not for anything other but, but look. Like this.
this one too. I like that look down there on the wrap look. I need to comfort my feet. There we go. <laughs> It's difficult to do jewelry because you want to look at it. While you're making it. Okay, I'm going to have to sand this part down right now because it's going to be hard to get to when I'm done. And if you don't want to sand, all you do is you get your tool and you go down like this. And it it rounds it out. But I, I'm so used to sanding, so that's what I'm going to do. Can you guys see? Right there. So the second one we'll do on another video because I need to take the puppies out to pee pee. Do you hear my husband? He says, I rather do cupcakes. <laughs> Don't know what that's about. He's in there with my daughter. Alright. Just pushing everything down. I love that ring. Let's see it on. I should have painted my nails, but first let's make sure we're rounded out good. And if it doesn't fit on any of the fingers, then I will hammer it to make sure it'll fit at least my thumb. Alright. Looks like it'll fit this one. Oh yeah. Let's put the nails away. Look at that. I love it. Oh my goodness, it's very Instagram. Very Instagram Tumblr look. I think we'll call it a Tumblr ring. Or Instagram inspired. Very cool. And it's funny because as time goes by, things come back. Because this ring has been around for a long time, this style of ring, even before the internet. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed me creating and I'll come back and show you guys how to do the other style ring, which would be this one, without doing the crossovers. With, with this one, we're, we will just get the bead we're going to work on, or work with, and for this one, Hmm. It'll just slide on and we'll work from it like something like that. So stay tuned if you're interested. And if you'd like to purchase this ring, I, I would sell it. Definitely would sell it. And if not this one, a different one because I kind of like it. I kind of like it a lot, so I'm not too sure. But let me know and I could make another one. Yeah, so if you're interested, keep an eye out for the next video where I show you how to make the second style ring and then I think there'll be a third video because I have something special in mind with this style ring but we're going to do something different and special with the same stone and I think you guys will like it so I'm grateful for you guys to be here and grateful to be able to share and if you guys like to donate or fund this channel Please click the little link right there and donate whatever you like. Everything is, I'm grateful for everything. Put it that way. I'll catch you guys later. And please share me on Pinterest. Share me on Twitter if you like, if you can, if you would, please. Uh, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, anywhere you guys like. Thank you.